Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will tell you about the 10 best restaurants in Tokyo. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for updates. Pulsating with energy and dripping with Michelin stars, Tokyo is the place to be for food lovers right now. From humble yakitori joints serving skewered grilled chicken, to multi-course traditional kaiseki feasts, dishes are prepared with care and respect for seasonal ingredients. But the city's culinary greatness isn't limited to Japanese cuisine. There's phenomenal Italian, refined Chinese, and a genre-defying style of French that deserves a category of its own. It's getting hard to eat anywhere else, because Tokyo has it all and does everything better. Traditionally rice and fish have always been staples in the Japanese diet, while meat consumption was low until the end of the 19th century. When Japan modernized and meat became more cheaply available across Asia, the traditional dishes of China were adopted into Japanese cuisine, with examples including tonkatsu and ramen. Since then, Japan has gone on to become a global powerhouse when it comes to fine dining. In 2011, Japan overtook France as the country with the most Michelin-starred restaurants in the world, firmly cementing its place as the top destination for food lovers. Watch onwards for our picks for some of the best places to eat when you're in Tokyo. Number 1. Ristorante, Luca Fanton. Chef Luca Fanton's artful interpretations of Italian classics are made exclusively with produce from Japan, but the flavors are completely Italian, he says. I don't put shoyu, soy sauce, on my pasta or use yuzu, Japanese citrus, on anything. I'm not interested in making fusion. His cooking is focused and precise. A single raviolo filled with smoked burrata broth and topped with caviar from Miyazaki Prefecture is a silky, luxurious mouthful. There is showmanship in the deconstructed minestrone soup, a clear broth adorned with gem-toned root vegetable marbles, while simplicity is the key to the fresh pasta and sea urchin, finished with lemon and colatura di alici. Number 2. Salmon and Trout. You might think you've wandered into a neighborhood cycling shop after stepping into this warmly lit shoebox. And you would be right. Partially. Salmon and Trout's previous incarnation remains firmly part of its present, as evidenced by rows of electric bikes hanging from 60s-style square arch windows and spare parts poking out of wire boxes stored behind the tiny drinks counter. These days, locals come here for Can Morietta's modern and daring fusion cuisine. Number 3. Butagumi. The restaurant specializes in tonkatsu, breaded pork cutlets, fried to a golden crisp, and served with a sweet and tangy Worcester-style sauce, alongside a heaping mound of shredded cabbage. What sets Butagumi apart is its list of more than 50 varieties of premium pork from all over Japan, as well as Iberico Bellotta from Spain. Pig pink snout stamps on the menu, available in Japanese and English, indicate the daily offerings. On a recent visit, we enjoyed the subtle flavor of Imo Buta sirloin from neighboring Chiba Prefecture with a frothy glass of Ebisu Kohaku draft beer. Number 4. Toritama. The first thing you notice when you slide open the door to this yakitori specialist, plonked beneath a highway overpass in Shirokan, is the hiss and pop of succulent chicken pieces slow roasting over binchotan charcoal embers. The open kitchen interior is fairly basic, with two charcoal grills and several black stools around the counter. The menu, however, is not. On any given day, there are up to 40 chicken parts for diners to choose from. Number 5. Tempura Motoyoshi. Chef Motoyoshi's deep-fried delicacies are fantastically light, sheathed in a crisp coating of golden batter that owes its crunch to a mixture of canola and sesame oil. He has a knack for vegetables, which he ferries from Tsukiji Market on the back of his motorbike every day. Among his signatures are succulent takagim peppers from Kyoto, pudding-like croquettes of sweet Japanese corn, and Maiga wild Japanese ginger buds. Number 6. The Blind Donkey. The Blind Donkey is an oasis of verdant foliage hidden in the narrow alleyways of Kanda Station. Although it's a relative newcomer, the restaurant feels lived in, homey, and California-ish in a cool, cozy way. The Blind Donkey sources ingredients from organic farms around the country. Each item is described by its farm or region of origin. Fatty proteins such as duck liver and pork pate shine on their own, devoid of sauces or any heavy-handed accoutrements, whereas other dishes are heartier and more complex. Number 7. Shirasaka. Shirasaka has all the trappings of a classic kaiseki restaurant, an immaculate wooden interior, a window that looks out onto a placid miniature garden, and a serious-faced chef working quietly behind the counter. Despite appearances, there's no buttoned-up formality here, 
Chef Hideki E just wants you to have fun. Tokyo born E, who trained in Sydney and spent three years in New York cooking for the Japanese ambassador, combines traditional and modern techniques into a highly personal style of Kapo Ryori, Kaiseki's less formal cousin. The tasting menu sparkles with dishes that are almost too pretty to eat, and the short and sweet drink menu is all about approachable sake and wine. Number 8. Floralage. Floralage is the kind of restaurant that could get by on looks alone. At the center of the space is an open kitchen with a charcoal gray stone counter that doubles as a plating station and a display for lavish Ikebana floral installations. The dramatic setting is the perfect stage for the Japanese-inflected modernist French cooking dreamt up by Hiroyasu Kawate, who trained under the legendary chef Shuzo Kishida at Quintessence before striking out on his own. I want to create the kind of food that you can only have here, in my restaurant, he explains of his mission to stand out in both aesthetics and cuisine. Number 9. Yakiniku Jumbo Shirokan. A five wagyu beef, that most decadent of meats, is king here. Order a la carte, or put your trust in the personable and helpful servers, who will happily cobble together a customized tasting menu based on how much you're willing to shell out, 4,000 yen to 5,000 yen should suffice. We love the beef tongue, heart, and other innards, but the seared wagyu sushi, layered on rice boiled in genmai cha, roasted rice tea, and the thinly sliced sirloin dipped in raw egg are all around crowd pleasers. You'll need a beer to wash down the garlicky kimchi, but whiskey highballs work just as well. Number 10. Ishikawa. Like all kaiseki restaurants, Ishikawa is all about details. It's held onto its three Michelin stars since the Red Book made its Tokyo debut in 2008, and the super-refined cuisine is all about top-quality Japanese ingredients. The 10-course tasting menu is a pean to the seasons, baby sweetfish the size of your pinky in summer, deep-fried croquettes made with sea turtle and lotus root in winter. Ishikawa has a winning way with grilled fish, which pairs with the impressive selection of sake and wine. On a recent visit, Horsehead Snapper was buttery with perfectly crisped skin. But the clay pot rice dish with scallops, presented tableside by the chef, stole the show. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.